the 10 ways to stay young forever. Today in the seven minutes of inspiration, I would like to bring to your attention that as time goes by, as you grow, as you transform yourself into the adult you are, many of us lose the radiant self. So we want to give you the 10 little tips you can use to revive that youthful spirit. Because don't forget, youth is energy. It doesn't matter how old you are. The point is reviving your youthful energy because that's what it all takes to get that emotional energy, that vibration, that frequency that the world welcomes from you. She's a lady. She's a cancer. Um, previously, we had a deeper uh, look at how to choose your thoughts, why you need to choose your thoughts and why many of us be uh, emotionally down most of the time, emotionally unhappy because we are thinking not right. Just to remind you, if you missed last week, we say that if you want your life to be very happy, if you want your life to be very vibrant and, you know, choosing positive thinking over negative thinking is the only way to have a happy and fulfilling life. So if you missed our last week's session on choosing what you think, uh, go to the description section below and watch the video that we uploaded last week and enjoy. Don't forget to share because sharing is caring. Um, in today's session, I would like to talk about something which is very important, especially if you're a lady, if you're a woman. Yeah, even if you were a man. Youth is energy. Youth is power. Youth is vibrancy. Youth is... Youth is energy and youth is very, very fulfilling. So in today's 10 minutes of inspiration, I would like to give you the 10 ways you can stay young forever. Please note, it applies to everybody, all genders, no matter who you are. If you just do these little tips, you will keep yourself young because uh, age is just a number. Yes, it's a number. As you grow, as long as you transform your thinking from that thought of, I'm old, you know, I'm not relevant. Then you replace the same thought with I'm relevant and I'm young. It is as simple as that. So let me give you the simple 10 simple ways. You can transform your youthful days and enjoy your emotions that comes with youth. Number one, maintain the hungry spirit. Youths are hungry for knowledge. Youths are hungry for new things. As you grow, that radiant self gets lost out of you because you think you don't try new things. So be a youth. Try new areas. Try new things. Try new, you know, anything that is new, try it out. Every time you stop trying out new things, you get stuck in the old things. And then you become old. It doesn't matter what age you are. Even if you're 25 years old, as long as you're not updating yourself, growing yourself, and trying new things, you grow complacent. And then you grow old. Old is a habit. So number two, um, wake up before the sun rises. Wake up before the sun rises. In his uh, best-selling book, The Monk Who Sold This Ferrari by Robin Sharma, he gave us the 10, radiant, 10 rituals of radiant living. He called them the 10 rituals of radiant living because these are things you have to do every day of your life to stay radiant. With radiant, it means having vibrancy, energy, youthfulness, you know? It doesn't matter how old you are. So, when you wake up before the sun rises, you wake up with energy. The sun is energy. When you wake up after the sun has risen, then you become dull. The energy gets dull. So, wake up before the sun rises. Number two, exercise. Work out. Movement of the body produces energy. Supplies oxygen to the brain. Improves your energy levels in the body. So, work out every day of your life. Number three, personal development. Read. Read widely, you can see. Every time you fill your mind with new information, rightful information, it helps you to grow young. Teachers, we don't grow because we are always reading, we are always filled up with information. The moment you stop personal development, you grow old because your information you're having right now becomes obsolete. Okay? So then, uh, he called it the ritual of abundant knowledge in that book, yes. The ritual of abundant knowledge. You must have knowledge about everything and anything. Number four, eat right foods. Have proper diet. Eat energy-giving foods. 
He called it the ritual of live nourishment. Eat greens. Eat foods which are not cooked yet. You know, all that food which is green and uncooked and, you know, gives energy to the body. Fruits, you know. The moment you eat dead food, which is always cooked, always cooked, the energy is not in that food. So then, to stay young, eat uh, live foods. Try live, live foods. Uh, number five, sleep well. There is a difference between sleeping and resting. Many of us sleep, but they're not resting. As you're sleeping, you're thinking. So to sleep well, make sure that you sleep eight, six hours of your night undisturbed. Don't check your phone. Don't answer calls. Don't write messages in sleep hours. Make sure you sleep right. When you sleep right, the skin works on itself throughout the whole night. When you sleep right, the eyes become bright and white. When you sleep right, the brain comes to that alpha state of ideas. So sleep well. Number six, drink plenty of water. Water. Yes, water is a magic. It's a beverage that can make your body young. As you grow, as you grow, and then you're not taking enough water, the veins on the hands will show, on the, on the feet, especially when you're a woman. Okay? So if you find that you have veins on the hands and on the feet, you're not taking enough water. So water nourishes your body, nourishes your mind. Water is magic. So as you're growing, Embrace taking lots and lots of water. Number seven, fall in love with music. Yes, music can take you to the times. Music can wake up the soul. But which kind of music? Music which is in alignment with what you want to feel. Don't listen to depressing music. Don't listen to music which has gone off, you know, many, many years. It can take you back to many years. Be careful on which kind of music you enjoy because music is life and it's always alive okay so learn to listen to music uh in his book he called it the ritual of music have a music system in your house have a music system in your car always listen in fact sing along with that music it improves your wellness as you're singing along your spirit is of that time okay number eight um keep a journal keep a journal keep a journal journaling to emotional wellness i said it in my book the more you journal, the more you vent out negative emotions. The more you vent out negative energy. The more you find ideas. The more you dream big. The more you put yourself in order inside your system, you become well. Okay? So journaling is a magic that is embraced most of the time to put your thoughts together and to put clarity to what looks as darkness in your brain. So embrace journaling on a daily basis. Uh, number nine... Um, maintain a positive mental attitude. Maintaining a positive mental attitude is very important because when you are negative, most of the time, all things out of your environment become negative because we are creators, we attract that which we think. So in his literature, Napoleon Hill always tells us to keep a positive mental attitude. And what is this positive mental attitude? To look for the good in the bad. In every adversity lies a seed of equivalent benefit. Don't pray for that riches you don't have. Instead, pray to God for the wisdom to see the riches you already possess. Meaning that you already have everything you want. You have it all. Just pray to get that wisdom to see what you already possess. Because many of us don't see the value we have. We look outside. Grass is greener on the other side of a fence. Because you are in that grass right now. Okay? So then, positive mental attitudes is to see the brighter side of life in the good and the bad. We've already talked about it on the channel. Number nine. Uh, oh, sorry, number ten. Lastly and most importantly, stay up to date. Be updated. Technology is always an update. Are you running with the time? We are in the information age. They are... Uh, social media platforms, things have changed. Don't be stuck in your old self. Don't be stuck on the analog. We are in the digital. Okay? So people who get stuck in the analog, when you're in the digital, grow old. It doesn't matter how old you are. Even if you're 30 years and you're stuck in the analog, you are as old as an old man of 80 years. So being updated helps you to stay in the spirit of the times. To be on fashion. The fashion. <laughs> you must be current. 
The music must be current. The books must be current. Everything must be current because the moment you are current and you are updated in the spirit of the time, it helps you to stay young forever. And the magic of this all is to make sure you keep a young friend. I have many of them. They update you. They tell you nude. Put on lip gloss. The young people know it all. So always embrace the young generation. If you're 45, get a 25-year-old friend. If you're 50, get a 35-year-old friend. If you're 35, get a 25-year-old um, 20 year old friend. All those people know a lot of things you don't know. They know updates to, to know all those applications. They know what is working currently. Keeping a young friend grows your spirit into youth. Don't be 30 year old and then you keep 30 year olds as your friends. You have the same problems, okay? If your 30 years go down below the line, okay? So that is the secret of keeping yourself young because the young generation always has up to date. I have a friend who updates me. She is the one who designs me. She gives me all this. She tells me, Mariam, take off that lipstick. Makeup is like this. Don't put in too much. Don't, you know? They update you because you don't have the time to look for the information anyway. You know, they have a lot of time. So then, those are some of the ways you can stay young forever. And not forgetting, it is the only way to keep yourself with the hungry spirit of the youth. Thank you so much. I'm Mariam Navuja. I'm the Reader's Guide. Uh, see you again next week. Bye-bye. She's a lady.